my eyebrows i'm using the welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be sharing with you how i got this makeup look for work and for school in under 15 minutes this is also a first impressions video so some of the makeup i haven't used before all the products i use will be listed down in the description box below if you want to see how i implement some of the makeup in my makeup routine and if you want to see me unbox some of the makeup please keep on watching so first step is foundation some people usually start with their eyebrows first but i don't do that first because it doesn't really look natural for me when i do it so for foundation i'm going to use the zaron healthy glow foundation in the shade 35 i bought this recently i haven't used it yet so yeah i have a feeling that this is going to be too light for me so just in case i got a dark concealer so i, I can mix it and make it my shade so the concealer I'm using is the Adventure Makeup Blend Pro Concealer. So yeah, let's get started. I was right. This is too light for me. Can you see that? This is this is way too light for me. Maybe if I blend it on my face. <laughs> let's use the dark concealer. Just a little bit. So I don't make it too dark. So now I'm gonna try and mix this. This is my shade, but this is too light. This video is starting out well. So I think it looks okay. I think it looks wow, I think it really is my color. So, so I think that it looks okay. Then the next step is for me is concealer. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Coffee. I don't normally put much concealer, but then I mean, let's try a different thing today. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't normally do this. So then I have my beauty blender. So then I blend it out a little bit. I normally leave like the under eye to get tacky a little bit so I can get more coverage if you understand what I mean. When you leave it for longer, you have a fuller coverage but we're not really looking for that full coverage right now. So we're gonna blend it out now. Also blend the concealer into the eyelash because we're going to do eyeshadow and we want to we want our eyeshadow pigments to really show. <laughs> I don't think I make this sense, but it's fine. So I'm going for a natural, uh, my skin but better kind of look. I'm not doing full coverage makeup, but if you want to see full coverage makeup, leave a comment down below so I will know if you want to see that. So, yeah, I think it looks okay. If you're wondering why I'm looking here, there's a mirror here to help me see. So then, the next thing I do, finally, my eyebrows. I'm using the Usher's Eyebrow Gel. In the color in color three um i haven't used an eyebrow pencil in months since this lockdown started i don't think i've used an eyebrow pencil this is what i've been using and it just makes my eyebrows look more natural because when you use an eye pencil it looks more you know yeah so that's what oh i'm like looking in I like looking at it close so I know that I'm not going away from my eyebrows. Yeah, that is it. I just like the bushy eyebrow look. I know it's not some people's like thing, but I prefer it. So then 
I don't normally do this, but since it's looking a little bit bushy, I'm going to conceal. I'm going to conceal under my eyebrows with the LA Girl Pro concealer, but this time in the shade in the shade Chestnut. It's a darker shade. You're supposed to use a shade that is your skin tone or just one shade lighter. You're not supposed to use a shade two or three times lighter than your skin tone. Then your eyebrows are just going to look so pronounced, if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to... And the thing about eyebrow gel is that once you put it on, it's gonna last throughout the whole day. Whether you sweat, whether the rest of your makeup comes out, it's going to stay on. So then, next thing I'm going to do is set my face. But I'm going to use the classic, classic makeup super oil control, super oil control press powder. Yeah. So I haven't opened this yet. I haven't opened most of this yet. So then, this is in the shade dark. So I'm going to use my powder brush and I'm going to just try and scatter it because it's a pressed powder. So you scatter it a little bit, then you leave it, you put it under your eye. Yeah. <laughs> I look weird, but it's fine. We'll fix that. So, we'll leave that on to set. Then we move on to bronzer. I'm using the Zaron Face Definer. So it has the bronzer, the contour, and the highlight powder or something. I use this for highlights because every other highlighter I ever use is too light for me. So I end up using this as highlight, using this as bronzer. I barely use this. Right now I'm going to use the center one what's remaining of the center one <laughs> to use as a bronzer. I'm going to use that same brush. I have a very wide nose. So once I contour it, it to make it less wide. So that is what I have done. So next thing we're going to do, while we let everything sit and stay, we're going to move on to our eyeshadows. What we're going to use, we're going to use the Tara High Intensity Pigment. I decided that I needed a nude eyeshadow palette. So I decided to get the Tara palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. It's just full of like nude colors that I think are very, very pretty. I want to go for a smoky, simple smoky eye, but like not too smoky. <laughs> so first we're going to get a transition shade and I'm going to use this shade right here. This, oh, let me just, I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to use this shade right here for the transition shade. And it doesn't have a name. So I'm going to put this on my crease. So then I'm going to go for the shimmer, this shimmer shade right here. It looks whiter on camera. Or should I go for this one? I'm thinking I'm going for this one. Yeah, let me go for this one. Let's just use this one. So for that, I'm going to use a flat eyeshadow brush that I can pack it on my lid okay I have hooded eyes and it's very very difficult for me to do makeup if you have any tips for anyone with, like hooded eyes for how to make their eyeshadow stay please leave it down below so then next I will now go with the dark shade I'm going to use this shade right here use this shade right here and I'm going to put it on the edge of my eye and bring it in so 
so i'm going to do the other one off camera then i'll see how they look together to see whether we actually did something so i've done the other one off camera and it's time to dust off the excess powder on my face i kind of left it on for way too long so it's going to be lighter than it's supposed to be so so the next thing i'm going to do is eyeliner and most people use liquid eyeliners but i like using a I like using the it's a colossal eyeliner in black. It's, I think they only have brown and black. So what I do for my eyeliner, I don't most people use their eyeliner and go up. I like following the shape of my eyes to make it more curved, to make it more baby looking. It makes you look younger than when you go for the snatch look, and that's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for the snatch look right now, we're going for a natural esque kind of look so i'm going to oh, I, should, I need to see this from up close i'm going to follow the shape of my eye my eye goes like this so i'm going to go like this just make a line another thing is that i have curly eyelashes my eyelashes curl and touch my eyelids that's how curly my eyelashes are and they make it very very difficult for me to put eyeliner, eyeshadow, even mascara, anything that has to do with my eyes. So I find this easier. I think I'm messing up because of the camera. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. Most people put their eyeliner in their waterline but I don't really do that because it makes my eye look too dark. So next thing I'm going to do is mascara. I'm going to use the Black Ogle Mascara for my eyelashes. The next thing I'm going to do is move on to my lips. Now, because we're going for a natural, fast makeup look, I use the Vaseline Lip Therapy. And I also use the Essence Color Boost. It's more of a lip stain. Next thing I do is use a blush. I'm using the classic makeup blush, the pink shade. And then I start at my nose. I use the Zara Face Definer again, but I go for the bronzer shade and I use it as highlighter. And then I go like this. Just the tiniest bit in the world. So then I put here, like on my cheekbone then for a setting spray I have never used a setting spray before but I was recommended this by my makeup teacher it's the Debbie Luster set prep set and seal setting spray I have not opened this so I don't know how Ooh. don't know how much I'm supposed to use <laughs> So this was a very long journey, but I think we are done. I think this is this makeup look all complete. It was going south for like a second there, but I think we rescued it. I think we accomplished something here, and I think that we did a very, very amazing job. This is a very simple makeup look you can do before you go to work, before you go to lecture, when you're running late. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. If you like this video, make sure to give me a very big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you can get a notification from me. Every time I upload a video, I will upload every Friday. If you want to follow me on my social media, you can follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok. I post on my Instagram every Saturdays and Wednesdays and days in between. I post on my TikTok almost every day. The links will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!